Everybody likes to talk about how the 5.7 Tundra is archaic, it's horrible gas mileage, and can't touch all the other brands. So just how does a 12-year-old motor and an outdated six-speed transmission handle hauling a 4,000-pound dump trailer and a couple yards of materials? So that's the question we're gonna look at today is how good does it do handling it and what's the gas mileage in doing so? So stick around, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and we're gonna find out how well it's done hauling all the materials for me. Okay, so for part one, we're gonna reset the trip. And we're gonna reset the gas mileage. So we're at zero, so now we're heading off to go get the trailer. So we're gonna compare the gas mileage empty uh, and then we're gonna come back to the exact same starting point and compare the gas mileage on the uh, truck towing the empty 4,000 pound trailer. Once I start doing loads and hauling things around, I'm not gonna be able to do the exact same trip distances. We'll keep track of them. Um, but for right now, we're just going to see how we start off with. There's the trailer we are here to pick up. And we arrived. Let's see. We are at 15.7 MPG, 5.4 miles traveled. So we'll keep track of each of the increments. Okay, I'm hand holding the GoPro here, blocking the speedometer here, but I thought what I'd do is just kind of show the motor acceleration we're using here to pull out and accelerate to 50. I'm not doing anything excessive or trying to race. This is just tow haul mode, to trying to drive like a normal person with a uh, 4,000 pound trailer behind me. Yeah, I know. Not trying to win any races. Um, that was probably a quarter throttle on tow haul mode. Well, this experiment's going to partially fail because I'm sitting here idling away all my MPG, waiting for a chance to pull out onto the highway. And I have a feeling by the time I get a chance, I'm going to have to floor it. Well, that sucked. I idled down from about 13 and a half at that intersection down to about. Oh, I want to say it was 11.5 when I took off. So we're sitting at 9.8 right now because once I even got the chance to take off, I had to just floor it. I had to pull out in time. I mean, the Tundra does fantastic. This motor, um, I have no complaints, especially in tow haul mode. I mean, I would have had to take it off in four wheel drive to go any faster because we were just sitting there kind of right on the edge of breaking the tires, freeing the traction control system kicking in. So no complaints. Uh, about the Tundra's ability to take off uh, with this trailer and get me down the road. One thing I'll comment on here too is I did upgrade to the tow mirrors. I love these things. I don't need them as much for this trailer as I do for my uh, full-blown camping trailer, but being able to have the blind spot mirror and be able to slide them out for visibility, absolutely fantastic. Love them. Would buy those 10 times over again. Okay, so it was a slightly different route coming back, but we were back to where I started from. Um, so what I'm going to also do is I'm here picking up my uh, seven year old from grandpa's house and going to be driving back to ours, make sure I don't drive over their curbing. Uh, I'm going to be driving back to my house empty. So I'm going to measure that gas mileage too, we'll reset. But right now I'm reading 9.8 and 4.4 miles. So definitely drop off as expected, but it's not too bad. And actually I was hoping to be in double digits on our way back, but sitting there at the highway for too long, that just ruined it. All right, let's go pick up the kid and reset. Okay, I've got my lights on, so everything's kind of dim, and I'm gonna have to back this up pretty quickly once I pull on the street, because people could be coming. Um, but we went 11 miles, and I am showing 11.3 miles per gallon. 
Uh, one thing I'll note on here real quick is I am manually shifting. I don't leave anything to chance. So I control where I want the RPMs and how we're doing. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. 11.3 miles per gallon, towing 4,000 pounds. Not too bad. Okay, so here's what we're hauling. Nice dump trailer. Grateful to our brother-in-law for letting us use it. It's got a cool little hydraulic lift system in here. Very cool little unit. Makes landscaping way easier. Instead of paying for everything to be delivered, works out better to just spend the money on gas and get it yourself. Okay, for those who are curious, the weight of cargo should not exceed, I don't know if it's focusing cargo, 58.79. So 5,879 pounds. The gross vehicle weight is 9,899 pounds. So that's how you just get your empty weight of 4,000, just the gross minus what the cargo can be. That's how much it weighs. So the initial project is to come through here, get all the bark and dirt dug up here. Bark's five years old. Kind of started here, we're gonna throw in some basalt chips. The uh, water flow from the rain chain has just washed out all this into here because there's just so much water that'll come through it just washed it all away. So we're thinking the basalt chips, once we get those in here, those will hold up for the rainstorms. Okay, there's a yard and a half. I only need a point eight, but I got some spots in the backyard I can do too. Well, it's a pretty good load for a half ton, maybe too much, but this thing, that 5.7 is really strong. Got airbags in the back, filled up to 20 each. With airbags at 20 in the back, or 25, sorry. With airbags at 25 in the back, looking really good. Okay. We are loading up out of here. Um, pulling out of this place, I've been here before. It's all loose and sandy when you go to leave and then you're pulling onto a highway and so you slip a lot. So I just know from experience to go ahead and put it in full drive. There we go. Okay, turn two wheel drive. And you're going to see the four-wheel drive light will blink until I let off the gas. There we go. Here's an example of the 5.7. Okay, so we're at 2,000 RPM. I'm locked in fifth. Give it gas without being crazy, and we're accelerating without having to downshift. This motor just has loads of torque. Not doing a lot of highway with this load. Gonna take off some, some backcountry roads. Because this is the 2015, it didn't come with the trailer brake, so I've got my own. I've boosted it up, so it's actually simulating like a three axle. And so as you can see, this is a pretty steep little downhill. So we are gonna gear down. And not with the expectation the truck's going to hold it, but we're going to gear down to kind of keep everything better under control. On off the brake, don't overheat anything. And we nicely took care of that hill. It's about half throttle and tow haul mode. And it upshifted on me quicker than I needed it to, but... Okay, that's 
good. We're on a country road. That's enough. Realistically, with this trailer, I've hauled it plenty of times. Empty, I'm expecting about 12. Loaded, I'm expecting 9 to 10, depending on wind, where I'm going, and all the other factors. So, while today's experiments are isolated to today, there's so many other little factors that it's hard to tell. Um, but if you don't stay to the end, that's about normally when I get hauling. 9 to 10, loaded hauling the trailer 12 empty and I get in the truck 16 to 17. I know a lot of people don't, but those are my numbers. Okay, so as I pull up, we are at 9.1 MPG over 7.1 miles. So just about exactly what I was expecting. Not too bad for hauling a yard and a half. Who doesn't like playing in a big pile of rocks? Built the trailer up some. Makes it easier to scoop in the wheelbarrow. Come on, load me up. Load it up. Okay, so that part of the project's done. I just need to get the hose out, kind of rinse this down, but uh, no more excess water from the rain chain. And I left a little pile over here, a little high, so that when I punch in some border, um, I can pull it back. So that is successful. Getting all that done. Whew, I'm not in shape anymore. Okay, so we got a yard and a half of the basalt chips, inch and a quarter basalt chips. This is what I have left. I'm gonna throw some in the backyard and then what's excess, I'm just gonna go dump at my dad's. He'll just spread it on his driveway. And then we are gonna go grab two yards of sandy loam. But the reason I'm doing two yards is two yards is really the most I wanna haul of material in this, whether it be sand or rock, I've hauled more in that. And it's just, and if you're putting the trailer past its gross vehicle weight anyway. It doesn't matter that I have a half ton truck. So what I'm gonna be doing with the sandy loam is I rolled sod in last year and there's uh, dips in the grass and sandy loams is a great way to fill anything in, smooth it out. And even here in the front yard, I don't know how you can see it down here. You can kind of see that line where the grass has grown. It's just not that smooth. So I'm gonna throw some sandy loam in the back sprinkle some in here, rake it in smooth, and that'll do it. That'll do the project. But yeah, that's what, that's why we've been grabbing the old dump trailer and towing it around. Okay, we're hauling the two yards of sandy loam and quick confession, I forgot to reset the trip meter maybe just a block or two after pulling out. So I will use the trip meter from hauling the uh, yard and a half of the inch and a quarter salt chips. Uh, if I just had to judge, we're not using scales here and I can't remember what the miles was, but uh, this feels a little lighter. Two yards of sandy loam feels a little lighter than those uh, basalt chips did. Uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, I can tell you shoveling those things, they are heavy. I mean, there's no, no doubt about it. And the sandy loam can kind of vary depending on how much moisture is in it. Uh, that'll make a big difference. Ideally, I would have had a scale, but uh, for the sake of today, I didn't want to go drive around and try to find a scale, so. Okay, before I put the phone down to back in, that is where we're gonna call the MPG, 9.8 for the sandy loam. Okay, final numbers are in and we're done. And that's damn near two yards of the sandy loam gone. Uh, what I did, not to get off topic here, but we uh, rolled the sod last summer uh, between some of the dips. There were some gaps, some stuff settled. So I filled all those in first and then took what was left and just raked it all in. Hopefully it grows through nicely and smooths it out. And then a little bit left over stuck in the kid's sandbox. I'll grab that first if I missed anything. So, you know, back on topic, the tundra, awesome awesome rig i love the 57 i love the six speed say what you want i've towed over 10,000 pounds i know you're not supposed to and it just did great did fantastic i hardly ever need above 4,000 rpm unless i'm just pulling out onto the highway to get to speed um, my only complaint is i have a 15 so there's no brake controller or the larger gas tank or gas tank uh built into it in 16 they put the brake controller and went to the 38 gallon gas tank so other than that, no complaints for me. I'm happy, it's not a diesel. I know the gas motors are getting bigger and better, but for myself, I wouldn't ask anything else of it. See the trailer. 
trailer back there in the background. So yeah, no, I have no regrets buying that Tundra and it does everything I want. And I think I might do a follow-up video as well with us towing our uh, camper trailer with it. So if you made it to this point in the video, I hope you found it entertaining. Thanks for sticking around. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one.